So last week we went to the Bromsgrove Spa Hotel. I'd been told by local residents that recently the hotel had been filled up uh, with illegal immigrants, but closed. So we went up, we visited, I made a video, and we've exposed the fact that all over the country what's happening is hotels are being filled up by people crossing the channel, people getting into the country illegally. What's the reaction been? Well, nobody wanted to talk about this, but I tell you what, they're talking about it now, at least you are, nearly 7 million views on social media of that film we made last week, and yet, Sajid Javid, the local member of parliament for that area, has not said a single word about it, the government have said absolutely nothing, Serco, the company that have been given a two billion pound contract with the government over the next 10 years to house these people. They've said I was wrong because actually they're accommodating women and children as well. Well, not in that hotel, they're not, is all I can say. And they say that it's temporary until they can find more permanent solutions. This is backed up by the Home Office. They also say the use of hotels is temporary, but you try and book a room, uh, you know, in Bromsgrove, and you'll find it's booked for months and months to come. But interesting, isn't it, that the Home Office talk about finding permanent solutions. There is almost an acceptance in the Home Office that if you come to this country, you will be allowed to stay. And mainstream media, they won't touch it with a barge pole. But then, when I made the films out in the English Channel about the handovers, if you remember at the time, nobody else would cover this and now we've got Good Morning Britain, Sky, the BBC and many others that are doing so. So I think uh, that we keep, if we keep pushing this, we'll get a proper debate. Now what I've learned is that the North West is the region that's been most heavily burdened with this and I made the appeal at the end of the last film, please, if you've got info, let us know. We've been swamped and an awful lot of you have responded from the North West. So this is Nigel Farage investigates part two. We're off to the northwest. Let's see what we can find out. So we're here in leafy Cheshire in Sandback and we're going into the Chimney House Hotel. No, we're not going in the Chimney House Hotel because it's closed. But there's a phone number. Not much we can do, is there? They've, they've. I mean, we know it's full because we've had lots of local residents saying, "You know, how come people are being put up in this amazing country house hotel? And quite a big place for wedding receptions, conferences, things like like like." You see, it looks absolutely amazing. They don't want us going in, do they? Gosh. Well, look. I can't get in there. I'm not going to climb the fence, but we've had over a dozen emails from local residents here in Sandback telling us this hotel is closed, but it's actually full. It's exactly the same thing as we saw in Bromsgrove last week. So we've come a couple of junctions up the M6. We are now at the Daresbury Park Hotel, uh, which is just outside Warrington. Uh, it's owned by Britannia Hotels. It's a big conference centre, has very glitzy videos all the rest of it. Let's see what we can find. Oh, by the way, they're doing very well. Their business is phenomenal. We just tried to book an evening room in November, and they're full. I mean, to have business like that, wow. Well, there's the leisure club. Yeah, they've got lovely swimming pools here, and spas, and all the rest of it, so it's not all bad. Have a look. Is it closed? Yeah, we don't We put it on the website. And we tried to, uh, we tried to book. But you're full for the rest of the year, are you? Yeah, well, the hotel's full, so you don't have to speak to Circle Direct if you wish to speak to them. Right, but it's full. Thank you. But it's full. Yeah, the hotel's full, sir. But it's full. The hotel's full, sir. You're going to speak to Circle Direct. Close to Pub, then, you mean? The hotel's full, sir. Could you contact Circle Direct? Looks pretty busy, but I'll contact Circle Direct. So what is clear, what is pretty clear by the response of both hotels so far is that following our trip to Bromsgrove last week, 
they put all these places on hire there just to keep people out. Obviously, they couldn't fence this one off. Um, but uh, yeah, the idea of the hotels, the hotel's closed, but it's full. So it's, it's that same story, but they're, they, they really are, they really are on alert, you can tell. Okay, so we're now just approaching the Mercure Chester North Woodhay House Hotel. We're kind of in Ellesmere Port, really. Um, but we don't have to travel very far around the northwest to get a hotel after hotel that is closed. And one of the reasons I'm doing this, and by the way, thank you, all of you, who've given me the addresses of these hotels. Massive response to what I put out last week. Uh, but one of the reasons I'm doing it, I just want people to get a handle on the sheer scale of what is going on here. So here we are, classic of all the others we've seen, car park completely empty, all the bedroom windows open, which means people are, are there, they're in. Um, Let's have a look. Is it blocks off or let's have a look? There we are. Empty car park but full hotel. It's the same story everywhere we go. I shouldn't be laughing really. So this is the fourth stop here in the northwest this morning. We are now here at the Holiday Inn Express, Liverpool Hoy Lake, formerly known as the King's Gap Hotel Hoy Lake. A nice little seaside town, famed of course because the British Open Golf Championship comes here from time to time. Um, and yeah, it's a nice part of the world. This hotel, like all the others, it's the same story. After I put out that video last week, local residents here getting in touch with me, saying that it's all been filled up with illegal migrants. But what's fascinating up here, I've just seen a Granada news report saying the whole town is overjoyed. This is happening. Never has Hoylake been so welcoming. It's completely one-sided media. I'm doing my best to get this out because the government don't want you to know about it. Serco, who have been paid two billion quid over the next 10 years, certainly don't want you to know about it. But the impression's given that there were local consultations, the local community is very, very happy. Well, one of the people who contacted me from this area is a fellow called Justin. Justin. Hi, Hoy Lake is home to you. Yes. Uh, what's happened here? Well, uh, a couple of months ago, the rumour mill started and the next thing we, we it filtered out because the council didn't tell anybody that we'd taken on about 40 or 50 uh refugees as they've described them yeah and they've been here ever since we don't know where they're from we don't know who's paying for it but we suspect they're not no you are yeah <laughs> um and I, I have to say we're not looking at, at impoverished looking chaps here we're looking at young men in their 20s maybe a little older maybe a little younger in some cases well dressed, well fed, well cared for, which they're all good things. Um, but when it was discovered that they'd been taken over to Anfield. To what? Anfield, it's the home of Liverpool football. I know what club. Anfield is. What do you mean they were taken to Anfield? Well, someone in their wisdom thought they might enjoy a day out. So there's thousands of kids around here who would love to do something like that, but these lucky men got to do it instead. What do you say went to Anfield? They went for a guided tour. What, all round? Uh, all round the stadium, into the uh, dressing room, through the tunnel, saw the famous Anfield sign, all of these things, yeah, yeah. But certainly, it's not, it's not the kind of um, event that is readily available for everybody else to do. Yeah, and just after they won the Premiership as well? Literally, it was uh, July 16th was the day they went Absolutely to Anfield. Absolutely astonishing. Mm. I, and I can imagine that with, because they've all got great phones, Yeah. I can imagine selfies, posts, yep. and a message going back to their home countries. Hey guys, I got across the channel, look how good this is. Well, they've certainly all got phones. I don't know who they're speaking to or <laughs> sending their message to, but, um, well, yeah, I mean, you have to wonder, don't you? Absolutely astonishing. That is astonishing. We're going to have to find some evidence about Anfield trip. I, I, I believe you, but let's find some evidence about the Anfield trip. Well, that, I've got to tell you, you know, I've heard all sorts of things, but the thought that you come here illegally, get put up in a nice hotel, and then get to visit the Premier League champions, you've got some more investigating to do. Here we go again. Completely locked. Here we are. We're 
to have a pass. Do we have to have a pass key? Do we? Uh, here we go. Hello there. Hello there, how are you? Fine, thank you. So how long is this booked up for? How long is this booked for? I can't answer, it's answer any questions in there. You can't answer any questions, yeah? Is it a month? You need to speak to the Six the, months? The no, no, I can't answer any questions. Do you not know or you can't answer? I can. I'm not, I'm not at liberty to answer at the moment. Wow. So is it completely close to the table? At the moment, yes. Astonishing. How long have you been here? Again. I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to, to, to answer that. I'll get, get into conversation about that. You told not to say that? No, no, no. It's just, it's just me myself. Is it? It's uh, funny. You're the fourth person could today. You, could you, you're could the you, fourth you, person today who's been himself and said nothing. I think you're probably told what to do. But I get why. There's a lot of money involved, isn't there? I can't comment on that, sir. I can't comment on that. I can. All right, fine. Well, there we are. Same everywhere. Circo obviously getting a bit nervous. But then, hey. Their share price is doing well. Okay. Well, another lo local resident, Phil. Phil, good to meet you, mate. And you as um, well. I I'm told, I've watched all the news reports, everyone's thrilled that the, what, the, what was known as the King's Gap Hotel has been filled up with illegal migrants. Oh, sure they are. Mate. That's not what I've heard. I mean, quite the contrary. I've heard that, uh, you know, the taxpayers are paying for all this. Um, yeah, I've lived here all my life, apart from a stint in London for 10 years. Um, and I'm just appalled by what's going on. It says, all back home to Hoylake yeah. after a memorable day. Highlights were the excitement of seeing Mo Salah's peg in the changing room, the gasps as we walked through the tunnel into the stadium and tucking into pizza and fish and chips. I mean, you, so basically, what you've got to do, you've got to get on a dinghy, cross the channel illegally, you can come somewhere nice like Hoylake, they put you up in a great hotel, and just after Liverpool have won the Premiership, they take you for a tour of the stadium. And, you know, the people behind this charity, who funded this trip to Anfield, clearly think they're doing good. But actually, all these people will be sending selfies and pictures back to their countries, wherever they come from. And the message is, come on down, get into the country, hotels, 40 quid a week spending money, full board, trips to Anfield, who knows? Come to England legally, you might even play in the Premier League. I mean, that's the message that we're sending out. It's stone bonkers. Aren't they mad? Well, you can have those. So, so that's the tunnel? Uh, that is, well, that, yeah, well, it's what used to be the tunnel. Right. But yeah, it's, I think it's all been yeah. redeveloped yeah, since yeah, yeah, then. Yeah. But yeah, that's from the changing rooms. It's not bad, is it? You come here illegally, and this is the kind of thing you get. And all this does... He sent an advert out to the rest of the world that Britain isn't just a soft touch, it's a great place to be illegally. <laughs>